everyone, so in this video, I want to show you how to calculate the cash price of a bond uh, two different ways. So the big issue with calculating the cash price of a bond is calculating the accrued interest. And there are two ways to go about it. Uh, there's what we call the 365 day convention, or sometimes we call it actual over 365. And then there's the actual convention or just actual over actual. So I'll show you how to do it both ways. In this case, it says the bond has a face value of $1,000. A coupon rate is 8% paid semi-annually on December 31st and June 30th. So a typical bond. We're asking for the cash price of the bond on April 19th if the bond is quoted at 98.679. So if you're gonna use the 365 day convention, basically you want to take the face value of the bond multiplied by the coupon rate, in this case 8%, multiplied by actual over 365. Now actual means the actual number of days since the previous payment. So since today is April 19th, and the previous payment would have been December 31st, that's 31 days for January, 28 for February, 31 for March, and 19 for April. That's 109 days since the last payment. So we'll do 109 over 365. And then this will give us our accrued interest. So if I punch this whole thing into my calculator now, that is... $23.89 of accrued interest. And now for the cash price, if the bond is quoted at 98.679, that means the quoted price is $986.79. Remember that a quote is just a percentage of the face value plus the accrued interest. So if I add 986.79 to my accrued interest, I get a cash price of 1000 10 and 68 cents. Now, if you wanted to use the actual method, or actual over actual, this would give you the exact uh, accrued interest. The main difference between the two is that one of them uses 365, whereas the other one actually looks at the fact that the first half of the year, or that every month in the year, doesn't have exactly the same uh, number of days. The first half of the year, between January and June, actually has 181 days. The second half of the year, between July and uh, December, actually has 184 days. That's mostly caused by February. So what you would do in this case, you'd have to calculate the coupon payment. So that would be 1,000 times 8% divided by 2 because it's a semi-annual coupon. That's $40. Multiplied by actual over actual. Now since we're in April, that means we're in the first half of the year. So the actual number of days between December 31st and June 30th is 181. So if I did 40 times 109 over 181, my accrued interest would be something closer to 2409. So it's not a huge difference, you know, about 20 cents. So then, of course, I would add that to my quoted price, plus 24.09. 1,010.88. So that's how you calculate the cash price, or specifically the accrued interest, using two different conventions. Now, on an exam, if this were for school, you'd want to make sure you follow the convention that uh, you're told. Normally, we would use actual over actual unless you're specifically told to use the 365-day uh, convention. Now, I should also mention that if the bond is paid annually, these two would not actually yield different results. So then you could use whichever one you want. I hope that helps, and I'll see you guys in the next video.